be showing you all how I achieve my lock knots. I've gotten several requests on how to do them and so I figured since it was wash day, I figured I'd film it for you guys and so this is what this video is going to be about today. By the way, uh, the entire front section of my head is composed entirely of knock knots lock knots and the remainder of my head is composed of pipe cleaner curls I have a video on how to achieve pipe cleaner curls I'll leave the video right here for you guys or in the description box below for mobile phone users so that you can watch that video as well I like the lock knots in the front because they don't irritate my head and they're easy to do all they require is rubber bands and so we're gonna get into this video Alrighty then, so the only supplies you're going to need are some small rubber bands. I like using small black rubber bands because they blend in nicely with my locks. Here in the back section, I have completed that using pipe cleaners. And in the front, I am first retwisting my locks. I actually have a video on that if you want to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. After I have finished retwisting, I am just going to pretty much measure out how far I want the lock knots to stop. And I usually like it to stop right above my eyebrows. And so I just bend the lock as such and I lightly just twist it around as so and be sure not to twist too tight. After you're done, just wrap the remaining locks all around until you reach the very bottom. And once you reach the very bottom, then you're going to grab your small rubber band and secure the ends, like so. And that's pretty much it. You just repeat the process all around or wherever you'd like. So again, you're going to retwist, bend the lock how far you want it to go, lightly twist and wrap the remaining locks around. And with a small rubber band, you're going to secure the end. Uh, for all my loose naturals out there, if you want to try recreating this look, please do. I'd love to see it. This style usually works for medium to longer length locks, but for those of you with shorter locks, I definitely encourage you to try it out and see what you can recreate. And don't worry about it being bent out of shape, these lock knots. You can always, you know, bend them in the way you'd like. Ippy, that's set. All right, everyone, so that is all for today's video. Please give it a big old thumbs up or maybe even two thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below letting me know what videos you want to see next from me. Be sure to share this video with your friends and family or with anyone who you feel might appreciate this video or my channel. And please remember to subscribe because I make videos every single Thursday for you. Yeah. Again, I want to thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. And that I was filming today, I figured that I'd film this video for you guys. By the way, the entire front section of my head is composed entirely of not lock knots. I can't say, I can't freaking say lock knots. I keep saying not locks. But there are locks, not not locks. Okay.